What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski and I am back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and in today's video we are going to be going over a brand new Sugo Fest that uh, is actually within the game data right now so if you actually time travel to the 15th of November, which is literally next week, uh, we are getting another Sugo Fest where it doesn't introduce a new legend, but it does introduce the 20th anniversary Straw Hats. Now, with this specific Sugo Fest batch, um, there's only going to be four of the Straw Hat characters. There will be another Sugo Fest, probably sometime closer to Christmas or earlier in December, and it will introduce the second half of the Straw Hat characters. But before we go over this specific batch of Straw Hats, Let's go ahead and talk about this specific Sugo Fest. So, with this Sugo Fest, the first and second multi pulls, all wanted posters, are four star or better, so they are guaranteed gold. And the last wanted poster is guaranteed to be one of the new Straw Hat characters. Then, on the third, sixth, and ninth multi pulls, there is a guaranteed red poster, so you can get at least three guaranteed reds from this Sugo, which is quite nice. And the fourth and fifth multiples, the last wanted poster is guaranteed uh, to have either Luffy, Robin, Frankie, or Usopp being one of the new characters as well. So uh, the fourth and fifth are not gold only, but they'll, you'll still get at least one of the new units. And then the first and second, you'll get one of the new units and all of them are going to be gold or, or higher. So... Overall, that's really nice. Also, on top of that, each of these Straw Hat characters, if you pull them, if you pull them unevolved, they're going to have max sockets in Bind, Despair, and Auto Heal, so you don't need to spend time, money, effort, trying to socket out these Straw Hat characters. They will come with max sockets. So if they're unevolved, they only have three socket spots, and they have Bind, Despair, Auto Heal. If they are evolved, they have five socket spots, and they have Bind, Despair, Auto Heal, Damage Reduction, and Slot Rate Boost which is awesome and on top of that there is an added effect that says these specific straw hat characters will get 1.75 times attack 1.75 times health and 1.5 times recovery and also seven turns cooldown reduction for the upcoming straw hat mission event which is the very very difficult event these straw hats will help significantly with that and that straw hat mission I, like, I highly recommend you guys try your hardest to beat that because at the end of that mission if you beat it you get like a guaranteed almighty manual that is a guaranteed skill up you also get something like 40 gems or something you get a ton of gems and a ton of rewards just by clearing this specific dungeon and if you can clear it then that's awesome uh, and these straw hats definitely help along with that with all of these boosts but now that we've gone ahead overview the whole sugo fest let's go ahead and get straight into this video and talk about each of the new straw hat characters so the first one that we're going to be discussing is going to be the brand new 20th anniversary Frankie. So Frankie is a Dex Fighter Free Spirit type character and at max level at level 99, he has 3095 health, 1255 attack and 205 recovery. Uh, he has a 30 cost and also 5 socket spots. His captain effect will boost the attack of fighters by 2.5 times and reduce incoming damage by 15%. Very good captain ability overall. Uh, he has a uh, a pretty interesting uh, special ability that will change his own orb into dex and deals 15 hits of random typeless damage to random enemies and then reduce the defense of all enemies by 100% for two turns. Very, very interesting uh, special ability, and that starts at 19 turns, but if you pull any of these characters in their debuting Sugo Fest, they will come at max special level at 15 turns. So this is a really low cooldown for what he does. 100% defense reduction is a very, very good ability. Um, so if you do have the ability to get this character, it is recommended, and this will help significantly for the Straw Hat fight. Uh, on top of that, he does have a Sailor ability that states restores his own special by three turns when it is rewinded very interesting sailor ability as well um, because there aren't that many characters that have their own uh, sailor ability that rewind their specials when it is rewound so a very good sailor ability along with his special and as I said before his captain ability you know it's still 2.5 times attack which is pretty standard but 15% damage reduction is very very good that's the exact same damage reduction that time skip Luffy gives for his captain ability um, so very 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 good um, captain ability and overall a pretty good unit of so let's go ahead and move on to the second character of this batch. 
The second character is going to be Usopp. Now, Usopp is an int shooter character with no secondary class, and at max level, at level 99, he has 2,550 health, uh, 1,184 attack, and 336 recovery. He has 30 cost and 5 socket spots. His captain ability will boost the attack of shooters by 3.25, following a chain of good, great, and then perfect hits. So that is actually not a terrible captain ability whatsoever. Definitely has some uses outside of, uh, you know, this specific event. Uh, his special ability, which will max at 7 turns at an initial cooldown of 11, changes empty orbs into matching orbs, and then changes badly matching orbs into recovery, and then will also delay all enemies for one turn. So a 7 turn delayer, uh, and he has a pretty interesting uh, special ability as well, making it so that you are basically never going to have a negative orb when you use his special, which is nice. Um, unfortunately, he doesn't do anything with block orbs. That would have made this guy exceptional, um, but at least he changes empty orbs into matching, which definitely does have some uses, definitely outside of this specific Straw Hat event, this could be used, um, but yeah, this guy is more of a niche type of character, like he's only used for like very, very specific circumstances. Uh, it, this guy will actually work really well if you have a sailor that uh, makes recovery orbs beneficial, this guy actually would be pretty nice, uh, because you can change badly matching orbs into the recovery orbs, which is pretty cool, but as I said, very, very niche. Uh, he also has a Sailor ability, which states reduces special bind duration on this character by four turns. That is actually a pretty good Sailor ability. Would be a little bit better if he just completely was immune to uh, special bind, but you know, four turns is still very, very solid. Most characters only have like one, two, or three turns, but this guy having four turns is pretty good. Would be a lot better if it was completely immune though. So not a bad character. I still think that Frankie overall is a lot better and will have much more use compared to this Usopp character. But now let's go ahead and move on to the next next unit. Third unit of the batch is going to be Nico Robin. So Robin is a quick fighter cerebral type character and at max level at level 99. Robin has 2,126 health, 1,200 attack and 404 recovery and she has 30 cost and 5 socket spots. Her captain ability is boosting the attack of cerebral characters by 2.5 times and then giving them a 1.3 times recovery boost as well. Uh, pretty average captain ability, you won't be using her that much as a captain. Her special ability though is quite good, maxing at 13 turns. It will bind herself for one turn, uh, and even though it binds herself for one turn, if you have at least level one uh, anti-bind, that, that completely is just ignored. But then it will empty all your orbs, and then uh, it will empty all orbs with block orbs, and then it deals several times this character's attack in typeless damage to one enemy and boosts the attack against enemies with reduced defense by 1.5 times for two turns. So you see, she's a two turn conditional booster and she also gets rid of block orbs. Now, uh, I believe when you have six block orbs and you use her special, I think I think it was in the range of like 140 times her attack. I think it was around about that. So it's a really, really substantial amount of attack power that you, uh, you can get and a lot of damage you can output with her special. And this actually works pretty well with the new Usopp because uh, if you do get block orbs, you can use this to get rid of the block orbs and then Usopp changes uh, the empty orbs into matching orbs. So there is definite synergy with this brand new batch and, you know, how they all work together. So they work together very, very well. Um, but, you know, we haven't seen a really good captain thus far, as we're going to get into Luffy in a little bit. But she actually has a sailor ability as well, which states it will make tandem orbs beneficial to all characters if your captain is a fighter type character. Very good sailor ability. Honestly, like these, these sailor abilities that apply beneficial orbs to your entire team are. Uh, probably one of the most useful sailor abilities that you'll ever see in the game. Uh, obviously, you've got this unit here that does it, you've got the Rare Recruit Dex Conjurer that does it, you have the Int Pedro from Rare Recruit who also has it as well. These these sailor abilities are very, very strong, so do not discount that, that, that sailor ability at all. This unit, I, I would think, is going to be seeing the most use outside of this Straw Hat event. Very, very nice. Uh, but let's go ahead and talk about the, uh, the flagship unit of this brand new batch, which is going to be the Luffy. So, I will introduce you guys to the 20th anniversary Monkey D. Luffy. So, Luffy is a strength fighter free spirit character. Big surprise there. I think 
like a large majority of the Luffy's in the game are strength fighter free spirit. Uh, nonetheless, let's go ahead and talk about this guy. So he has 2,440 health and 1,406 attack, 279 recovery at max level. He has 30 cost and five socket spots. Interestingly enough, he has an eight combo hit as well, which is extremely high. Uh, his captain ability will boost HP of characters with cost 30 or less by 1.3 times and boost attack of characters with cost of 30 or less by 2.5 times at the start of the chain and then after your third perfect in a row the attack boost jumps up to a 3.5 times multiplier so 3.5 times attack 1.3 health to all characters below 30 cost is insane very very good captain ability especially because a lot of the better characters in the game um are going to be 30 cost or lower. So it's pretty much every rare recruit, aside from Legends, of course. Uh, every rare recruit you can use. Um, you can't, unfortunately, use the Colosseum characters. There are select Colosseum characters you can use with this Captain ability. Uh, all Fortnite characters, all secret rare recruit characters. There's a large pool of characters that this guy uh, will actually be very, very useful for as a Captain for. Uh, and this guy, I think, is actually going to see a lot of play outside of the Straw Hat event. So uh, very, very good Captain ability overall. His special ability, which starts at 18 turns, maxes at 14. So if you do pull him in the Sugo Fest, he comes at 14 turns. And it will cut the HP of each enemy by 20%. And then if Luffy is your captain, or your friend or guest captain changes left column into matching orbs. Uh, if he's not your captain though, he'll add 0.5 to the chain multiplier for one turn. So even if he is a captain or as a sailor, this special ability is going to be very, very useful. 20% health cut to all enemies is very strong. Uh, and then if he's your captain, you're going to get some orbs. And if he's not your captain, you're going to get more chain, which is which is a very, very good, uh, very good special ability. 14 turns, I believe though, is a little high for what he does. This guy I, if, if I was making this character, I would have definitely put him down to like maybe 11 or 12 turns. I do think that 14 turns is, is pretty high. Uh, and he also has a Sailor ability that will boost HP and attack of all characters by 56. I don't really know why his Sailor ability is specifically 56. I, I, maybe someone out there knows the significance of 56 in regards to Luffy or One Piece in general. I have no idea why it's specifically 56. Nonetheless, 56 extra stats to health and attack to all characters, no matter what, is a very good sailor ability. You can't really discount that extra stats, which is quite nice. Um, but overall, that is going to conclude this video. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this specific video. And if you guys have enjoyed it, make sure to smack the like button down below. And if you want to stay up to date with all of the content I post on my channel, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But without further ado, I will see you guys within the next video.